Hello YouTube, I got a lot of questions about the keyboards I use for my daily PC and for my retro PCs. They have one thing in common, they don't have a Windows key. I have four compact keyboards, one keyboard with an IBM logo, a mini keyboard and an AT keyboard. My daily keyboard is this compact with rubber domes and the model is KPQE99AC. And the spare part number is 16064801. This is the same keyboard and it is the spare keyboard for my daily uh, keyboard. Because when keys are stopped working I need to take them apart and clean the inside and then they are as new. And my daily keyboard is from 1994 and it still works fine. And this is how this keyboard sounds. This orange keyboard I use on my uh, modern PC in my uh, studio and it is a compact RT101 product number 12663001. This keyboard was very yellowed so I found a can of spray paint and I painted it orange and I like the look of it. The keyboard sounds like this. I also love this compact because this compact has Cherry MX Brown keys and has an optical trackball. So it's a really handy keyboard if I'm testing out the system uh, so I don't need to uh, hook up an extra mouse or something. Just hook up the keyboard and the trackball and it works fine. And because it's an optical trackball it's just a perfect keyboard. I tried it on my daily machine but uh, with the layout a little bit strange with the keypad here it was not working for me uh, with shortcuts in Premiere Pro so I went back to this keyboard with the normal layout. The model number is MX11800. It's also a compact keyboard and the part number is 18515201 and the keyboard sounds like this. Another keyboard which I really like is its IBM branded keyboard. It's a laptop style keyboard in terms of the keys and it has a little IBM joystick in the middle of to use as a mouse which really works great. It's not made by IBM. MFG by Unicomp Inc for IBM and the part number is 84G6294 and the date is 99. The one thing I don't like about this keyboard is that the layout is not a US layout. Here it says Canada, so I don't know if it is a Canadian layout or it is made in Canada. But it's not a US keyboard. But still a really great keyboard to use. And the keyboard sounds like this. Another keyboard which I really like is this BTC keyboard and it is very small and tiny and it is almost perfect. The layout of this, the, this keyboard is great only they messed up with the arrow keys. Left and right are these two keys and up and down are these two keys. Why didn't they put the shift here and the arrow up here and, the, and this button here so it's the normal arrow layout instead of this. So if you play shooter games just with the way ASD it is perfect but older games where you use the arrows it just don't work. And the model of this keyboard is BTC 5100C US. Today I use it on my server because it's really compact and works fine for that and the keyboard sounds like this. These six keyboards are all PS2. The last keyboard has the big AT plug and I use it for my 286 and uh, my Pentium 1 build. And it's a really nice simple keyboard. The bottom is made out of metal but I don't see a brand on it. But the FCC ID is E5XKBM10140 and it's made in China. And the keyboard sounds like this.
So, here you have it, my 7 keyboard, which I use for my modern and retro uh, computers. I don't own any other keyboards and all of them are without Windows keys. So, thanks for watching, please like and share this video, subscribe and leave a comment, please join Retro Machines on Facebook, see you next time.